Well, with a full slate of SEC games wrapped up, we're going to check back in with Way 31's Max Cohen. That's right. He has a recap of today's action, both in Auburn and Alabama's games. Take a look. In their 29 13 victory over Kentucky today, Auburn trailed the Wildcats in first downs, time of possession, and offensive yards, but they still won the game, and Coach Gus Malzahn says it gave them a good feel for where they stand. A lot of things to work on, uh, but I really think our team has, uh, has a lot of potential. And uh, we beat a good football team today, so hats off to Kentucky. Auburn's home opener got off to a quick start with both the Wildcats and Tigers getting on the board in the first quarter. Auburn held an 8-7 lead into the half, thanks in part to a pick six, which got called back on a penalty. But the play, which Malzahn called the biggest of the game, still prevented Kentucky from scoring. The Tigers would force three turnovers, allowing none on their side. Quarterback Bo Nix threw for 233 yards and three touchdowns, with Seth Williams hauling in six catches for 122 yards and two scores. Nix said it's a connection they've been working to improve. This offseason, we've just practiced and practiced. We've got a bunch of connections, a bunch of throws and catches together, and um, obviously uh, that kind of came in clutch today. Aside from the measurable statistics, Coach Melzahn said the crowd, specifically the students, played a part in the win. Really want to give a shout out to our students. Uh, it was extremely loud, specifically in the fourth quarter. You know, we didn't really know what to expect, but they made a big difference. And over in Missouri, the Alabama Crimson Tide kicked off its season against Mizzou. With a seven point lead in the first, Mac Jones fires one downfield where Jalen Waddell is there to haul it in for a huge Bama gain. We'll be seeing more of Waddell in just a moment. Now, in the second quarter, Jones hits Waddell again. Only one man to beat, and the dive in for six, putting the Crimson Tide up by three scores. And if you thought you'd seen the last of Waddle, think again. At the end of the second quarter, Jones hits his man on another long pass. Double coverage can't stop this connection. Waddle would finish the game with 134 yards on eight catches as Alabama defeats Mizzou 38-19. There's your final from that one. And next week, Alabama will host Texas A&M, while Auburn will face off against Georgia on the road. Reporting in Auburn, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.